the God of this commission. Thank you, Jesus. I hear the Lord saying something to my left ears right now. Hear this. I have it clearly. He said, I should tell someone here. Listen. The issue of appetite is being. Oh, come. Come on, come on. Appetite is being. I don't know. Are you? Yes, I don't know. I just saw it. The Lord said, pray. Okay? This is a flu. Okay? I don't know. Okay? I will pray for you. I don't know. You, you conduct that test. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You conduct. Have you conducted the test? Yes. What did I say? My father is. You told the pastor? Yes. Somebody say Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Listen, the anointing of God in my life. I'll pray for you. What the devil brought will be taken out from you. Shut up, Listen, he said, as many that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. Now listen, when God 
does a thing in his presence and you go out and speak against it, that is the devil, you are blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And he said, you can sin the sin against man and you are forgiven, but when you sin against the Holy Spirit, you can't be forgiven. So when you see miracle, Allah go to judge so that you will not sin against the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Whatever you discover in the Word of God becomes a part of you. If you discover power, you will manifest power. If you discover prosperity, you will manifest prosperity. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. The devil. Now listen to this. There are four ladies here. The Lord said, I shall announce to you that this year you will carry your babies. Yeah. Please help me answer that they may not be out of those four. Yeah. Quickly, the word of God is the most important thing. Before we move to every other thing we have received from God, and we are yet to hear from Him to receive more. Unveiling the cause and cure of sickness and disease. Unveiling the cure and cause of sickness and disease. And our prophetic emphasis for the month of March, divine health and cure. The anchor scripture in Jeremiah 33 and verse 6. Thank you Jesus. Holy Spirit, come and help me. Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 6. He said, Behold, I will bring it out and cure. And I will cure them and I will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. The revive, revised standard edition said, be, I mean, prosperity and security. And the seventh, and I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return. And I will build them as at the first. And I will build them as at the first. This is the promise of God to his people. Because sickness is not part of God's agenda for his people. Notice, not until you discover the cause, you can discover the cure. And I want you to understand that when you are sick, when you are sick, that means you are not healthy. And when you are not healthy, you are not well. And that's why we need to discover the cause. When we discover the cause, then we can look for a spiritual vaccine for the cure and prevention. Are we together? First of all, you need to get the cause so that you can discover prevention. To avoid the sickness that we need to cure. Are we together? Yes. So if we discover this is the cause, you will not take no notice. This is the cause. Sometimes ago we discovered by history that malaria destroyed people for 40 years. Constant 40 years malaria was killing. But they came to discover the cure before the cause so it was not relevant when you discover the cause you avoid but when you don't discover the cause only the cure you keep getting victimized over that situation yeah. i don't know what somebody yeah. 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 unveiling the cause and cure of sickness and disease there are points to be noted here. Three outstanding, I mean, points to be noted about the cause for sickness and disease. Number one, 
we discovered from scripture that behind every sickness and disease is the spirit of infirmity. There's a spirit called the spirit of infirmity. That is the spirit behind sickness. You see, somebody says, I'm sick. 24 hours, I'm sick. You treat, I'm sick. The spirit of infirmity lives inside of you to sponsor divert kinds of sickness and diseases. And I said something in the first service that anything that is spiritually involved or caused by spirit. Now listen to this. If you take medication, it can only subside it. That was something that I took a day that was having this, but it came back again. It's a lie. There's a specific spirit of infirmity which the devil has deposited inside. When malaria finished, typhoid comes in, typhoid finish, arthritis, arthritis. Now look at the kind of dangerous viruses that I mean diseases that are now coming. Kidney failure. This one, you see all kinds of things. Overances. Even the woman who are put to bed, we have they still come out with five rods and the rest because it is not the will of God. It is the plan of the wicked to bring you down. Now listen, when once, no matter how rich you are, once you are sick, it's dangerous. You can be poor at any time. If the devil wants to attack a great man, the first thing he comes. It comes with sickness. Job chapter 2 verse 7. In the case of Job. Spirit of infirmity. Jesus speaking in Luke chapter 13 and verse 11. Luke 13 and 11. Yeah, what the scripture speaking. Luke 13, 11. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity. 18 years. How many years? 18 years. I don't get to know how long that sickness has been existing in you. But as you hear the sound of my voice, in the name of Jesus, I take authority over that sickness. Yeah. I see that sickness leaving you out before the service. Yeah. And the Bible says, and was back together and could not, could in no wise lift up herself. Spirit of infirmity shall be bound by this. A young woman, but there is listen. Some people you see them ask them of their age. I was praying for a lady sometimes ago. I asked her, How old are you? She told me, Sir, she was 40. But looking at this woman, observing that you see as if she's more than 70. Why? Because that sickness has changed her formation, has changed her real identity. Oh my God. Some of you, you don't understand. When I said the spirit of sickness is a spirit of poverty, there are some of you that monitor your financial breakthrough season. As soon as money enters your hand, the slide they bear. You will spend that money not until it's finished. That sickness will not finish. I stand here as a servant of the Almighty God. In the name of Jesus, such a gender you are my change. Jesus to see you. I 
after that you carry your infirmities. Yet is, as your cry reached the heavenlies, I see the Holy Spirit directing my ways with the power of healing, touching you wherever you are. Yeah. After here, you will no longer feel that evidence. Everywhere. 
a man like Job, the richest in the East. But look at the devil attacking with wickedness of sickness. And that's the same thing that is applicable to us now. There are some of you in the common that have been dead, injecting sicknesses in you. On daily basis, you have, you have never been comfortable because there's a brain behind it. I damage that brain that thinks wicked as against you. I said, I damage that brain that thinks wickedness against you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There's something I want you to know in this teaching. Tell me something. Satan rules in that place. And he carries out his wickedness act in that place. Now, why we are revealing this to you is to discover who the devil is. He rules in darkness. He rules in darkness. That's Ephesians chapter 6. When you read from verse 11, the Bible says, We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, verse 13, take unto you the whole armor of God that he may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Every sin, some people say, is natural. Some of you have been living with one sickness for how many years? You have come to all kinds of hospitals, but yet, it is not because you have not discovered the root cause of it. The root cause is Satan. And today, because you have discovered, listen to this, after here you are returning with greater testimonies.
the prescription of the word. In Matthew chapter 9, verse 12 to 13, let's look at the, the centurion man in the Bible. Matthew chapter 9. The word of God is so powerful that if you have an understanding, find the word. I said something here. I said your understanding determines when we understand and believe, we become, we will be empowered to become what we believe and what we do. If you believe that you cannot be saved by the word of God, you can never be saved. If they are having an encounter that a good ambassador is there and the mysterious person is what? Sickness. He suffered mischief. He suffered mischief. So if the preacher of the word of God handling the Bible with wickedness, listen to this, in reciprocation you find wicked afflictions. Yes, then when you are, listen, you know who an ambassador is? Ambassador is a representative. So God knows that today I will preach, tomorrow you want to come and afflict me. What you will mean is dangerous. Yes, Tell you about the word of God is powerful. In Matthew chapter 9, let's look through. And verse Matthew chapter 9, verse 12, down to 13. The Bible made us to understand. But when Jesus had that, he said unto him, unto them, that they that be whole need no physician. But they that are sick. They that behold need to no physician, but they that are sick. And verse 13, but go in and learn what thou meanest. I will have mercy and not sacrifice, for I am not come to call the righteous for sinners to what? Repentance. A man who is whole does not need a physician. Please, you are not sick, you just welcome to go to the hospital. Is that true? Those that are sick are the ones that go to the hospital. So listen to this. A sinner is sick and you need the word of God. Once you live in sin, you are sick. Because sin is a gateway to affliction. Once you are a sinner, that is a passage for affliction. Sir, I came to discover Job was a man that feared God. Please, let me reveal a mystery. Job was a man that feared God. He, he, he eschewed evil. Now, Job was afflicted by Satan. You know, when we are preaching the Bible, we have the precept and the concept. And there are people who are very intelligent. That's why before you go out to teach, before you call yourself a preacher, study the Bible with mystery. Yes, let me tell you something. The word of God is not the Bible. The word of God it's, I mean, it's not only contained in the Bible, but it is revealed through the Spirit. The Word of God comes on daily basis. Not Some people are only emphasizing on what they have read. That is why they don't need the Holy Ghost. You need more of the Holy Ghost for interpretation. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9, but it is written, I have not seen Yes, I'm not that. Neither has entered the man out of, out, of, out of the man. What God has prepared for those that love him. He said, but it can only be revealed through the spirit. The secret is only revealed through the spirit. And that's why Jesus told his disciples, let me live. It is expedient for me to live. That if I live, the comforter will come. He will teach you all things and put you in remembrance. The reasons why Christians are failing, they are failing if you read Genesis to Revelation. That is why, please, it's not yet enough. There are certain things the Holy Spirit is revealing. Sir, I asked the Lord in conversation, I said, Sir, why is it that John never feared evil, but you allowed him to be sick? It was not only a test. The devil knew something. Sir, you remember that before God restored the heart of John, listen to this. Be mindful as a Christian. You can be a pastor, you don't have weakness in fornication. You can be a pastor, you don't steal, but your little weakness will be an entrance. It could be anger. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now the Bible made us 
to understand that before Job was made whole, that the Bible says, God said, pray for your friends. That means Job was a businessman, but he had some lapses with his friends. He had some grievances that were beyond. So the devil used through that passage to afflict Job.
when the believer is in the church, sir, the worst part in the church is when the word of God is about coming forth. That's when you see people relaxing, sleeping, dozing. Why? Because that is a way your breakthrough would have come. So the devil will always bring comfort and distraction when God is about to visit you. Somebody shall have a So anywhere you go to peace, don't be distracted. In those days when we were still very young, we were still flourishing with my dad in the valley. As soon as the message wants to start, we tap ourselves. We begin to squeeze one of them. Because we don't understand. But sir, today, God revived me by his grace. I discovered the word of God and said, is it what I've been missing all this? Is it what I've been missing? Kamashanda Marosuti. May you be restored Amen. with that divine passion. Amen. Let me hear that even louder. Amen. In Matthew chapter 8, from verse 8, we saw the story of the centurion man. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou should come under my roof, but speak the word only. Somebody say the word only. The word only. And my servant shall be healed. Speak thy word only. And look at verse 13. And Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way, and as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And the servant has, I mean, was healed the self sin hour. Yes, the word of God has to heal you instantly. When we talk about healing, we don't need to talk about healing of virus. A sinner is sick. So the first day you receive your salvation, you have been healed. It can give you access to all. Are we together here? Yes, you need the word of God. You need an environment where the word of God is. By so doing, he says, send forth your word. Because they said, you know, man, have read the scripture in Psalm 107, verse 20. That Jesus, the Bible says, he sent forth his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. So he says, I am unworthy to, that you should come to my house. No, I'm a man of authority. He said, send only your word. Only. He specified, send only your word. Some believers, they don't have the strength to believe that dimension. Listen to this. Let me tell you about the importance of the word of God. I'm a prophet. But there's something I came to discover. That's uh, what grows a church is the word of God. I discovered the mission of the act of the apostles. What grows a church and establish a church is the word of God. Acts of the apostles, when you read 6 verse 4, he said that the disciples said, God, we will give ourselves continuously into prayer and the ministry of the word. When you read verse 7, he said, and the number of the disciples multiply. In Jerusalem, people were obedient to the faith. Even the priests who never believed in the word, who were believing why? Because prayer was offered. Listen, if you want to start ministry and start with prophecy and miracle, you will start people with that. But the next thing, they will leave you with an empty chair. But let me teach you, it's a secret. Somebody says it's a secret. I prophesy to the call, but what is the strength of my ministry in the prophet? Is the word of God. Now hear this. Sir, if I teach you the word of God, I have given you a take home. Yes, you will know what to do after you. Yes, sir. You are coming, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You will know what to do after you. No, 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 no. Because I've given you a take home. Yes, sir. The baggage. Prophetic declarations. I lay out my sham they lose it. Listen to this. If sickness have sit on your corridor, welcoming you on daily basis, by the time you get home, sickness has been relocated to the Lord. As you hear the sound of my voice and make that amen, now that something is happening. Even in your families, wherever they are buried, something is happening here. Let me hear that they may not believe it. Take your feet off. Say what? He said, I need your word. There are people that are not even satisfied with this word. As soon as I stand down from the water, they still need my hand, my nose. Somebody 
Elijah. I believe in the healing ministry. Yes, sir. When God called me, I told him, Lord, I can't be an ordinary man of God. The title is not just to become a pastor, but evidence. Yes, With what? Evidence. And the next day, God came again and said, Lord, if you will call me without riches, I can't serve you. Yes, sir. Some people say, look at it. All our father in the faith are there poor. Maybe she never preached more. Remember what he said in Zakara? He said, out of prosperity shall my city be yet born. There was a place Jesus went to preach. They said, pay your tax. He said, Peter, come. Go cash me, send it. Give them the money. If not, they will hinder us from our duty. You know, some people, when you preach about prosperity, they say to the church. How many of you don't need prosperity? How many of you need prosperity? This, if you cannot raise your hand, help me and raise on behalf of me. Are we together? Yes, Two things I am praying for you as I stand on this altar. You will never be poor. And you can never be sick. Let me hear that you may not believe that what I'm hearing. They see a man of God buy car, they say, Now, nah, Juju, I came to discover that the richest place that should be rich is not the house of God. Jesus was not poor. The only suffering Jesus suffered was the suffering on the cross. But to say, Jesus, wear all clothes. That's why he asked his disciples when I said, You lack a shoe, lack a son. So, why would I be a pastor with one shoe? I can begin with one shoe. But I will end with many shoes. <laughs> After Bishop Oyedipo, he reaches his name. The Lord God shall support the power all my name according to his riches. See, the worst thing if God sends you, you need to ask him a question, then you are wrong. Tell your God, if God calls you, Ask him a question. Whenever you are confused, ask him a question. Every point in the word of God demands a question. Exodus chapter 3. Moses come and sending me a tax on the head of my people. Go and deliver them. And Moses said, Number one, I'm his stammer. He said, don't worry, I'm prepared around your brother to speak for you. He said, now what will I go and tell them? He said, tell them the God of your father, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now, as if that was not enough. He said, but there cannot be anything. He said, Moses, what are you holding in your hands? He said, the rock. He said, drop it on the ground. He dropped it. He turned the south. Like the kind of He said, pick it, he picked it. What? Moses was not convinced. He said, Moses, Take your tap and put it in your tap. Bring it up. When Moses brought it, the hand talked to let us. He said, Take it again. Bring it up. His hand became normal. Yes. Moses said, God, don't worry. I am going to. If God told you to not see the sign, don't go. If you go with the sign, you end up means no sign. Before I found thee from thy bed, I know that will give you a sacrifice, a prophet to the sheep. And God commissioned Jeremiah. He said, Go, pull down, destroy everything and rebuild. And then he took him because he never He said, Jeremiah, what's here down? Somebody said, What's here down? The first thing Jeremiah saw, he said, I saw a rod of an almond tree. Somebody said, Revelation. Revelation. And God said, Because thou art seen, he said, I will destiny my word and perform it. Why? If you are called by God, you don't have one encounter, don't go. Because it is the one encounter that you hold God. Yes. If God had not spoken to you, so anything I'm doing, if God did not say, some people say, man of God, why have you not started hosting? We say, I say, because God has not spoken. Yes. I 
I'm not staging crusade because I need to dance. Hey, 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 hey. Listen to this. I walk crusade when I fold my leg. I say, cripple, walk. I close my eyes, say, blind, see. You will see him for this cripple. Die, 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 die. 
That's why they attack them. And the person to suspect the person. Because it should be the person we are praying that die, 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 die. The kingdom of God suffering. And the Bible did what? There are three ladies here. You are taking your husband by force. If I be a servant of God, I am seeing bright price paid this year like never before. Some people listen to this. It is their children that became best born. Best child. Somebody say best child. Best child. Instead of best man as your best friend, your child become best man. Eric. You, you tell your son, come and escort me to pay my, my wife price. Right, right. Somebody say Eric. It is one of the foundation that I've been affecting Bokina. Some people, is the day you die, they say they should pay your bride price. Ah! Prescription of the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. The prescription of the name of Jesus Christ is very powerful. The word of God, the name of Jesus, use it. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. The name of the Lord is a right and the strong to God, and the righteous run that into it. And they are saying, the prescription of the name of Jesus is the healing message. No do it. No do it. Pray for the sick in the name of Jesus. They are made of belief. There is no source anywhere. Only discover and apply. Why the name of Jesus has prescription? Because the name of Jesus is full of wonders, including the healing wonders. Because the name of Jesus is full of wonders, including the healing wonders. Look at the scripture in Isaiah 9, verse 6. Isaiah 9 defined who is in verse 6. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful. Wonderful. So the name of Jesus is a custodian of us. Including the healing ones. Yes, and Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9, I mean, 4 verse 9. Acts of the Apostles. 4 and 9. If we this day, the examine of the good deed done to the important man by what means is it made good? But it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom he crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him, doth this man stand here before you whole. The name of Jesus you persecuted. You rejected is that same name that this man who was important, look at him, is not standing here home. The name of Jesus is powerful. There is no sickness, there is no disease, there is no infirmity that can withstand that name. Yes, That's a good news. These two prescriptions I'm giving you today, in the name of Jesus, after here, when you see me, you will say, Glory be to God. Yeah. You will say glory be to God. Yeah. That constant affliction, I see you seeing those afflictions no more. Yeah. The same way the Egyptians, the Lord said the Egyptians, you see them today, you shall see them no more. I pray for you. After this service today, you will never experience that constant sickness any longer. 
Let me hear that in my love. As I declare Jesus is Lord. 